What's up, it's Mr. Simmons here. Uh, first video layout, uh, first layout video. We're going to try to make a classic cereal box. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how I measure it. If you have one of these at home that you've opened up that's about the size of what you want to do, um, then you can go ahead and kind of steal the dimensions, steal the measurements from this. These are the piece of paper you're going to get. It's got lines on it, um, but if you notice, if you look over here at my Piranha Pentapuffs, you can see that I made this out of, you can see the lines on that, but that's this paper. But once I colored it, that, those lines kind of disappear. So uh, I can almost make this box out of this piece of paper. You can see this is just a little bigger than that. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure the width of the side here, and that's three inches. And so that means this side here will be three inches. This one is nine and three eighths, and this is nine and three eighths. And then this little glue flap is the thing that it's about three quarters of an inch. So obviously I have to make this a little smaller. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have some sharp pencils. And I'm going to measure here. I'm going to make sure that I have this up against the edge. Notice that I'm standing up to do this. Sitting down doesn't work because you want to be right over the top of whatever your measuring device is. So uh, I remember that was three inches, so I'm going to go from zero and I'll make a three inch mark there. And then I'm going to make this nine, so three plus nine is twelve. So that'll get me to this spot here. And then I have another three, twelve plus three is fifteen. And then I have another nine, fifteen plus nine. Notice I'm right over the top of this. Fifteen plus nine is twenty-four. And already I can see that that's going to be too big because I don't have anything left for the glue flap. So instead I'm going to I'm going to forget about these measurements, cross them out, and I'm going to start again. I'm going to do three inches and then let's make it three by eight and a half. So three plus eight and a half is eleven and a half. Eleven and a half plus three is fourteen and a half. And then another eight and a half would be fifteen to twenty-three. And then I have enough for my glue flap. All right, so these are my measurements right here. They were three. I'm going to come all the way over here, not all the way to the edge, but kind of in the middle. I'm making sure I'm zero here, and I'm right over the top. I'm holding this down with a few fingers, and I also have my palm on the table, which is going to hold everything kind of steady. So three inches, and then it was eight and a half, so I went to 11 and a half, plus three more is 14 and a half, and then we came all the way up to 23. And so now I have these marks right here. My actual box, the outside of my box, is going to be on the other side of this piece of paper, but I'm doing all my drawings here. Now the thing to do is to take this stick. You don't have to use a yard stick, but it's a nice thing to use because you can measure with it and use it as a straight edge. And so I'm lining this up with these two three inch dots, and I'm just kind of holding with a couple, couple of fingers, just lightly draw that line across there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Notice that I'm in the middle between the two dots and I'm going to do pull with just two fingers and this is a good practice to get into because you do not want to write very hard on these things because once you, if you have this habit when you start doing the other side then you won't make hard things, hard lines that it would be hard to erase if you make it if you make a mistake. So here we go. So now I've got if you look at this, I've got one side, a front, a side, and a back, plus a glue flap. And now I have to make the other measurements. I have to figure out these flaps. And what I'm going to do is, that's three inches. When I, when I make this box like this, these two things have to cover. So they really, I'm going to make them exactly the same width. I'm going to make them three inches. So in this case, I've already done these lines. So now I'm going to turn it sideways. And, oops, my bad. And I'm, no, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to come down three inches right here, and three inches right here, and then I'm going to connect these two dots that I just made. Notice again, my hands in the middle. I can kind of hold this down here and kind of move this until they get up real close to those. And here we go, nice and light line on that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So this will be three inches here, three, and three, and how much time is on that video, Ava? Does it say? I don't know. No? Okay, and so I'm going to do this right here. Okay, 
So now I have all my parts, right? This is going to be the front right here. This is going to be side, the side. This is going to be back, and this is going to be my glue line. And I'm actually going to write glue line because I do not want to cut it off. Okay? Dad, I want to make sure this is recording. Yeah, it says recording. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. Uh, okay, so there's parts of this that I can cut out that I don't need. If I look here at this thing, I've got flap and flap and flap and flap, so I'm definitely going to need this flap right here. This will be my top flap flap, but I don't need this. I don't need any of that. I do need my glue line, so I'm going to do this. I don't need any of that either. Okay. The other thing is these flaps, if you notice this flap right here, it's not totally square. It kind of comes in like this. So I'm actually going to do that, and you can just eyeball this. I don't need, I want these to be kind of angled so that they don't get in my way when I cut it. Okay. So I'm doing that. I'm going to cut those out. Same thing over here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This won't jump up or get in the way of my, my other flaps. All right. So that's my layout. You have a pretty good view of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the parts that I don't need. So here's one part. I'm going to cut along there and take this little guy out. You want to be careful with your cuts, okay? Take your time and make sure they're accurate. If you mess them up, then your box won't go together the way it should. So I'm just cutting out these guys right here. Do it carefully. Boom. Make sure you recycle everything. Clean up after yourself. Don't make your parents clean up after you. I know I'm a dad. And I'm always cleaning up after the cameraman. Camera woman. All right, so I'm cutting these off. How long do you think this is so far, huh? Or Ava? Um, Eight minutes? Yeah, about. Something like that. So I'm cutting all this stuff out. I don't need this. Make sure you don't overcut. Sometimes it can be tricky on this paper with the lines on it because your lines might be in a different place than the lines on the paper. Whoops. Boom, got that. All right. Whoops, that fell to the floor, but that's okay because I can clean up later. Right, Ava? Yep. Alright, so this is my layout for a cereal box. This thing is called a mathematical net. We just drew a net. And now the cool thing about a net is if you do it right, uh oh. Oh, see how I messed that up? You guys, this is a perfect example. I just made a big mistake. You can see my line that I drew here. I was supposed to just cut to this line, but I cut down to the line on the paper. So, be super careful. Um, Mr. Sims just made a mistake and we'll see how bad that comes. Okay, so now, now I might need a chair because when you start to fold these things, you want to kind of get down low. So for example, yeah, this is going to be a problem. I did it, no I didn't. So I'm going to actually, Ava, if you come over here and maybe over there, the best thing to do is actually turn this upside down and then start folding, get down here, so I'm going to get down here and fold, and I'm looking for the line that I drew right there, and I'm going to kind of fold it, don't push it down until you're sure that you're actually folding on the line, okay, and then when I got that folded like that, boom, I can do that, and I fold this one, and then I fold this one, I want to make sure I'm folding, I'm looking for that line that I drew right there and I'm trying to fold it in there so I should have all these folds. So that's pretty good and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side even though I totally messed up my <laughs> totally messed up my stuff, my cuts there but that was a good lesson for everybody so I'm going to try to, I'm going to fold them on the line but it's going to look, it's going to look bad. So be really careful when you are cutting because you only get one piece of paper. You can mess up drawing, but once you start cutting, you're in trouble. Okay, now I gotta fold on this line, and this one, and this one, and this one. And so I'm gonna come down here again, I'm folding right on my line. I'm making sure that that line I drew is where I'm folding. All right, that's my blue line. Now I'm gonna do this, and go to this one right here. That's 
pretty good. Yep. Got it in there. And I'm gonna do this one. And then I'm gonna do the other one. You gotta be careful. And actually the paper kind of wants to fold there if you did because you the cuts you already made. So bingo, there I have basically this again. Right? Now actually this is where I'm gonna do all my drawing. So I'm gonna turn it back over and fold everything the other way. And uh -oh, make it a mess. You kind of maybe doing this on the floor if you don't have a big table at home is a good idea. And fold and fold. I'm doing this a little quickly because I don't want to make a big long video, but here's how it would work. Can you see the whole thing? You want to back up a little bit? So these flaps you're never gonna draw on, right? Um and these flaps are going to be inside too. So when it starts to come together, this is where you're going to put your glue or maybe your tape. And this thing is just going to come up like this and go on top of there like that. And then those go inside. And these go inside. And then you have your box, right? Now, the other thing you want to think about is this is the front of my box. The front of my box is the one that's between two sides. This one just has a glue flap. So I'm in really light pencil, super light. I'm going to write just a little F right here for front and a B for back. And if that's the front and the back, then I also want this flap up here to be my top. So these are all going to close and then I will see my top. So I'm going to just write top, really light pencil. And then my bottom would also be the one that's bending from the front, so I'm going to write oh, bottom right here, and I can erase that later. All right? And so there you have it. That is what your box is going to be. But of course, you're going to do all of your drawing in a really careful layout while it's flat on the table. That's it. That is a rectangular prism. That's a cereal box. I will uh, do another one for the pyramids next. Thanks. Bye.